Hey, you on this thing, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best intro I've had all day. So Matt handed me the GoPro to go cover this boom. This thing is awesome. But I, I don't think I've ever seen an E30 with a truck bed in it before. <laughs> so that is super, super cool. Well, we just got to rig stock here. We got everything set up. The booths are set up. The vendors are here. People are showing up. We got a big turnout. A lot of really, really unique rigs here. So I'm going to show you guys some of these cool vehicles we got. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of really cool rigs here. We got Jason Blanton here with his race car. It's a 4400 class Ultra 4 vehicle. You guys saw this in uh, our Huracan drag video where he raced the Lamborghini on a drag strip. You got Keith Northrup here with the Trophy Rat, another iconic vehicle from up here in the PNW area. Very, very cool truck. Another Ultra 4 vehicle here is uh, Jeremy Benson with the race tractor. That's the uh, Power Wagon 4400 class Ultra 4 vehicle. Super, super cool build. So walking around the vendor row here, one of the cool vendors we have is uh, Off-Road Power Products and they brought a couple of really, really, really cool rigs. I wanna go over here and talk to them and see what they have out here, kinda of go through each one and and uh, and get the details on each one of these really awesome rigs they have here. So what's going on guys? Hey, how's it going? How are you? Good, just living the dream. Yep, Cooper from uh, Off-Road Power Products, Diesel okay. Power Products. And then we got Colette over here. What's going on? So you guys, uh, you guys bought some really awesome rigs out here. Thanks. Made yeah. the trip over from uh, Spokane last night. Wanted to be a part of it. Support the Nitto brand. How many trucks do you guys have in the booth? We brought four. Wow. Four of them this year. Well, we got the one big tow rig on the gooseneck trailer. Yeah. The old uh, Ramiel, the dually, and then uh, on the trailer we got Howitzer, our uh, 2016 Ram 2500 regular cab short bed. That's right. Yeah. 2500 regular cab short bed. 61 miles on this truck we went ahead and cut it in half because that's what most people do with their yeah brand new truck and you you can't order them from the factory this way so they yeah. have to be modified like this yeah if you yeah. want a regular cab short bed that's what you got to do yep and the kind of grafted on the back said section of a crew cab short bed frame yep referenced it all off of the rear cab mounting bolts so that way we could do 
full bolt-on suspension uh, as a retailer it's kind of nice to use parts that we can sell and then uh, went ahead and finished everything out emissions intact we've got the def tank in the bed the particulate filter and everything all angled off to the side so so it's all legal and good all legal and yeah. good and this this sucker is uh tenured it has been on two ultimate adventures it has proven itself yeah. it's got it's uh it's no it's no show show only rig this thing looks good but it looks like it definitely uh it's has seen some cred. it's seen some stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it lets it lets all the other rigs at the mall parking lot know that uh, it means business yeah <laughs> you guys obviously have 40 inch trail grapplers on this 40 inch trail grapplers yep. um, and uh some kmc machetes with uh beadlock rock rings on them yeah and uh, they are, are well worn yeah. and uh they still look great these are the street compound i wanted to stick with the street compound on this rig because this truck's tipping the scales at almost 10,000 pounds oh wow even with the uh the short wheelbase and how much you've got out of we've it thrown enough metal at it doing the <laughs> skid plates underneath the rock yeah. sliders the cage the three link the trussing everything else i mean this full wrap around full skid underneath rear bumper, oh yeah that's cool and uh rear winch mount like yep. everything because when you get this thing stuck you need all of the recovery definitely definitely pretty much threw all the beef at this thing yeah we knew that apparently i, I smashed things <laughs> cooper smashed things so. well i couldn't tell by the front bumper so <laughs> i blame the boulder for getting in my way yeah they do that they kind of jump yeah, out at you sometimes a couple of them yeah, yeah. tell me about this uh this jl you guys have here this too this is a uh, pumpkin it's our 2018 um, yeah jlu it's got the new uh, two-liter turbo in it, little four-cylinder. Wanted to put oh, okay. the small displacement motor. Yeah. And the uh, e-torque setup, but uh, the really nice thing is, its transmission technology kind of takes a leap forward here with these multi-trans. Uh, so yeah, the eight-speed. Yeah. It makes a really small engine seem really, yeah. really big. You can imagine with the uh, with the when the turbo kicks on this thing, it gets up and goes pretty quick. Oh, it rips and yeah, yeah that that tranny. I mean, you nailed it. It's super intuitive. Yeah. So it uh, as far as the the shifts and everything else, it's all yeah. seamless. It's all real quick, and you are always right in the power band. That's awesome. Yeah. So we got some 40s on this one too, flexing out. How yeah. tall is the stand? This is a, a 40 inch stand. Oh wow! So you basically can stack it on another 40 inch tire base. Yeah. That's that's pretty much where you're going. It looks like you may even have some more up travel here. There's a little bit, uh, yeah. a little bit more up travel there. I have fully stuffed it, yeah, for sure before. Um, but uh, I, I get everything I can out of this two and a half yeah. inch lift. That's so so cool. Yeah, we we love the JLs, of course. The uh, any plans for a Gladiator anytime soon for you guys? We have one. Do you? Okay. Yeah, we 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 went ahead and threw all the horse pressures in it. It's got a Hellcat motor in it already. You guys are above and beyond everybody else right yeah. now. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fun. We're in the in the process of waiting for all the uh, suspension companies yeah. to catch up so we can figure out what the next phase is going to be. <laughs> we got some big uh, big axles on order for it as yep. well. So it'll be a fun one to follow along with. For oh, sure. yeah. We'll definitely, I'm, I'm sure we'll be seeing that one coming out soon. So these are some sweet looking tow rigs over here. Yep, got the well, uh, dually with pro the project Ramule. Ramule. Yes, the end of an era, people. It was the last manual transmission truck that we got from the dealership we got it at, Dave Smith Motors. And uh, we knew we wanted to get on board with that because you, you just can't beat a manual transmission on a big tow truck. And That's then, right. This might be the, the tallest truck we've ever built. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, well, that kind of goes against what you guys <laughs> usually do with the low center of gravity and the big tires. But the problem is when you normally build trucks that are on 40 inch tires and then you design and build a gooseneck trailer to go with a truck that's that mm -hmm. height you can't have anything but a lifted truck to haul it around that's so right we started off with uh, obviously a ram platform because they're awesome mm -hmm. and uh, you could get it with the manual transmission yeah that's great with the trailer it, it was made to, to have the weight thrown at it and yeah then, uh, for those luckily long for hauls. us nitto knowing their customer base and their market came out with a 37 uh 1150 a yep. narrow so you can run the dually, yeah. That's awesome. I keep the spacing in the back without having to throw a spacer between the dually wheels. Mm -hmm. I got a truck that looks good, it hauls the trailer great, and it works perfectly. That's awesome. Yeah, the trail grapplers look great on the dually like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it just screams authority, nice and nice and beefy. It's funny when I turn the turn signal on to change lanes, people pay attention. <laughs> they get out of your way pretty quick, <laughs> don't they? Yeah. <laughs> and looks like we have another Ram over here too. Yep. Yeah. This one's uh. 
normally uh, my daily. This is Sledge. He's a it's a it's a really fun truck. Um, in fact, driving on you guys just did an article on this yep. one. Ali I spent some time with him in Moab. We went and did the uh, Moab Rim Trail on this. And yeah, shout out to Ali. Thanks for uh, always pumping out some pretty awesome content for us. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, it was fun. We we should do more of that. Yeah. I've done a lot of stuff with this truck. This was made to uh, throw an overnight bag in and go do whatever just you want. Just get off the grid. Yeah. Whether it's uh, the campsite, just you need some time away, whatever. Yeah. Go there, lockers front and rear, um, RCVs, gearing, engine work. This thing's cranking out a little over 600 horsepower. At the no kidding. Wow. 40s. Yeah. A lot of cool AEV parts on this. Yep, we yep. did the uh, AEV dual sport three inch suspension and the yep. front bumper color match that. Yep. So that uh, it just kind of fit with the overall yep. look of this truck. And, and I love there. this heat reduction hood too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it just it's such a unique look to these uh, these Rams. And this like like everything we have, it gets used. Yeah. They all get used. I mean right. it's got its little dings and dents and scratches here and there and Yep. I am uh, definitely not afraid to take it off-roading, so. Oh yeah, definitely looks like you uh, you know how to play with your toys, not just build them and park them in a show somewhere. No, nope. <laughs> I, if I do park them at the show, they have all the dents on all them. All the dirt and the dents and all the mud all over them, yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't complain for a rig like this to have a powertrain like that. No, so. and it is it is so much fun to drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if it's a daily, it's going to have to be, right? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge advocate of fun dailies. I don't know why people drive boring dailies. I, no. I never understood it. No, I like it when you hit the skinny pedal, and even with 40s, it says, I like to party. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's at Power Products Unlimited, we, we have both brands, off-road and diesel. Yep. Obviously, we love our diesel trucks. We also love off-roading, and we, we most certainly don't want to ostracize the spark plug crowd because uh, we most certainly like those things, too. <laughs> we basically like anything with horse pressures that could put a smile on your face. So. <laughs> I like to think of us as famous. No one knows it yet. <laughs> If you guys need anything for these rigs, whether it's a Jeep, whether it's a it's a Ram truck or any kind of truck, they have all the products you guys need for off-road, on-road, ATVs, UTVs, whatever they, whatever you guys got out there. Just head over to their website, see what they got. A lot of cool stuff out there. And follow them on social media because they make a ton of really cool videos and all kinds of cool Thank stuff you. you guys do. So we love following you guys on social. But yeah, so we're going to move on down the vendor row here and see who else we can talk to. But I appreciate you spending the time with me here today. Absolutely. Yeah. Booyah. So Matt handed me the GoPro to go cover this four-wheel pop-up camper's Mule Expedition Outfitters Baja Runner Dodge Ram that is huge. So enough of my face. Here it is. Boom. This thing is Mondo. It's basically the size of a New York apartment on wheels and cheaper. Randy loves it. That thing's amazing. Look at these, I mean, forget rooftop tent ladders. You have stairs. In fact, I think this is way more dog friendly than what my setup is. I would agree. But look at it, because it's a flatbed, look how much more space you get in there. All right, we're gonna walk on up. Wheatley, you wanna get out? We're gonna do the whole yeah. Cribs tour. Here we go. What can we expect in there? One quick anecdote. A lot of space. A lot of space, space. All right, and we go up the stairs. I feel like this is where you cut the like burr, burr, rap music as you go up the stairs. Oh my gosh, I almost hit my head. Holy cow. This thing is huge. I'm total I'm six foot one. I'm standing straight up. There's a nice little nook here to have whatever you want to have. I'm sitting here. Look at that. No problem. Induction stove, a uh, propane stove with a cover, a sink. Uh, spares are in the back there just in case. Bed up here. Holy cow, this thing is amazing. But enough of me talking. Here's the the grand tour. A nice little hey. And then uh, to get out of this bad boy, we're gonna go out here and down. We'll do that one more time. Aiming it at myself, just so you know how big it is. Look at that, walk down, drink in hand, 
no ladder all the way up into the camper We've got onboard air arb of course uh nice stickers it looks like some sort of uh fuses air oh air for the rear front and rear tires extra power uh rear tires here or rear tires uh rear tire mount here massive screen this thing is insane and it's even got a snorkel i mean it's already tall so i don't know how much how deep of water you want to drive through but in case you wanted to go i mean look i'm like i'm like six foot one so this is about five foot worth of water if you want to drive through five feet of water you have this thing holy cow This thing is awesome. <laughs> Did you build it? Yeah. Dude. I mean, I'm not quite done, but you know. That's yeah, but I, I don't think I've ever seen an E30 with a truck bed in it before. <laughs> so that is super, super cool. Is that back window roll up and down too? Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is genius. Well, thanks for coming down, you guys. Yeah. All right, Pretty we'll cool. see you around. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you on this thing, right? Yep. <laughs> That's probably the best intro I've had all day. <laughs> I'm Matt, truck editor over at Driving Line. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. So is this the Yoder home? This is the Yoder home. Dude, I've been following this thing on Instagram for like a year and a half now. Sweet, appreciate it. And it, it is like the most awesome freaking Yoder home or Toyota motorhome thing I've ever seen. I actually have a 91 pickup, so. Oh, rad. Yeah, that's that's my, my uh, rig, but. Nice. This thing is just on another level. Thank so, you. Do you guys have you have a minute to show me around a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Cool. See, so we got an in-ground cooler here. What? Let's talk about that. No, I would have never guessed. I uh, made this custom backsplash. Shanna Duncan art printed on clear. Put it over some uh, brushed metal, granite countertops. So did you? Okay, so let me. Yeah, how did it start out? Stick like, wood here. Uh, Started out as the shell and the camper pickup you see. And so you did all the interior on all this and, and built the cabinetry and all the that? Ceiling and the Overland, after fabric right here. It's like, but yeah, redid everything, uh, redid the cabinets. Yeah, actually here uh, It's actually really nice. You have a bathroom in here too? There's no bathroom, but there is a shower, hot water. Uh, is yeah. heated up as you're driving down the road off the block. Awesome, you got a fridge in here. Put in this custom... Uh, wallpaper that's got a Yoder home pattern in it. Oh, wow. That's yeah, pretty that's rad. really cool. Uh, built this snowboard light. <laughs> cruiser light. Yeah, I've never seen one of these with like the pop-up front end on it like this before. Yeah, this is a uh, the Global Galaxy. There's probably only pop-up wise, I've only accounted for maybe 10 of these. Wow. And I'm so, sure there's not a whole lot of them still running Galaxy around. Without a pop -up and, yeah. Uh, there's a few more of those, but uh, this is that's definitely the icing on the cake. Any plans to go down like to Baja or anything with this thing? Or? Definitely something I want to do. Yeah. And, uh, I imagine within the next two years or so, I'll probably try to head 
south of the border. There's plenty of that too. Well, this thing looks like it already belongs down there, so that's awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thanks for bringing it out to the event, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to see this thing some more next time we're up here. Definitely, dude. Awesome. Nice thanks, you. dude. Yeah. Well, that was quite the day. We had uh, over at the LeMay Museum in Tacoma, a um, ton of fun. We had a lot of really cool rigs and some awesome vendors that brought down some awesome rigs. We had uh, race cars there. We had Jeeps, we had Overlanders, we had Toyota Crawlers, side-by-sides. I mean, everything you can imagine, the off-road community showed up in big numbers. It's actually a lot bigger than we expected. We got Mr. Mike here. I'm, I'm so dark. tired. <laughs> You're facing the sir, you got a silhouette on you. There you go. I'm so tired. So tired. And uh, you're not done with your excursion, Mike. You'll That's have like what? Another about 2,000 miles to go? Another 1,000, another 1,100 miles. It's 1,100 miles? Yeah, well, I mean, a little bit more. I'm gonna go see my sister in Edmonds, which is like 100 miles from here, and then from Edmonds home, which is 1,200 miles. So you got some mileage. Yeah. More more tired stuff. But are you starting tomorrow? Yeah. Right after a photo shoot. Hey, shout out to Unorthodox Overland. I'm gonna shoot your car on film tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe to Driving Line, hit that notification button there. A little bell icon, that'll tell you every time we get a new video up. Uh, make sure you guys like this video, comment if you guys have any, you know, if you guys have any comments on some of the cars that were there today, if you guys think we should do another off-road meet and greet here up in the PNW. We'd love to come back. It was a great time. A lot of people said that they really uh, thanked us for having this event here because they just don't have truck meets up here uh, in this area. So it was really cool that we were able to put that together for them. I'm sure it's going to be the first of many. So we're back here at the house right now and uh, going to try to download some photos here and get everything settled in for one more night um, up here in Tacoma. And then Two of us are getting on an airplane. Randy's staying an extra day, and Mike is going to be hitting the long road home. Yeah, <laughs> the somewhat long road home. If you guys know what that reference is to, good for you. Because you watch our YouTube videos. I'm going to head back inside, take a nice hot shower, and then probably take a walk somewhere and go get some food or maybe make some mac and cheese that we have inside the house that we haven't eaten yet. I think we have a fridge full of mac and cheese and Otter Pops. Either way, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Chasing Dust, Desert Chief. Out. See ya.